What is spasticity? So spasticity and spasms are common in multiple sclerosis. Spasticity and spasms are the result of, a, of an injured central nervous system, the brain or the spinal cord. So spasticity and spasms can be seen in multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injury, strokes, cerebral palsy, anything that has injured the central nervous system. There's normally a balance between what your brain wants muscles to do and what your spinal cord wants muscles to do, sort of a balance between flexors and extensors uh, in, in the body. And if you alter that balance through an injury, whether it's multiple sclerosis or one of those other conditions, you change that, that sort of uh, balance between flexors and extensors. So typically with spasticity, uh, with multiple sclerosis, you're gonna see an increase in flexor tone in the arms. So the arms are gonna want to be in this position and you see an increase in extensor tone in the legs. So the legs want to straighten out. So many people with MS do deal with some spasticity, if it comes in a sudden wave, we call that a spasm. And spasms are frequently alarming and painful. So there's a treatment algorithm for managing spasticity and spasms. It starts with taking away any noxious stimuli. Noxious stimuli could be a pair of shoes that don't fit well. It could be a wheelchair cushion that does this irritating your bottom and is setting off spasticity and spasms. So removing the noxious stimuli is first. Then we think about therapy, range of motion, rehabilitation, getting you into a good stretching program. We know it's not always exciting, but it's vitally important and it may minimize your medication use. After those two things have been addressed, then we look at medications. And there are several different medications that we can look at baclofen, tizanidine being two of the most common. And then if that's not working out, we start looking at things that are outside of the, those boxes. Things like Botox injections for maybe a, a focal uh, spasticity. Uh, things like cannabinoid treatment, depending upon where you're living at. Uh, you, may, you may have access to things like CBD oil, which has been shown to potentially relieve muscle spasms and spasticity. And then for certain cases, maybe we have to be really aggressive and think about intrathecal baclofen or having a surgically implanted baclofen pump that's going to deliver a concentrated liquid baclofen into the spinal fluid to help manage spasticity. If you have more questions, be sure to check out the Multiple Sclerosis Foundation. You can access them at msfocus.org where you can find lots of support and education. Thank you.